Have you ever had one of those spaces in your house that you just didn't quite know what to do with? Well, in our house, we have this dining nook. It's nice, but it's boring. We wanted to put in some curtains, but how do you get a curtain rod for a space like this? Well, in this video, I'll show you how we did it. So here's the space we started with, and here's what we ended up with. And to get there, we had to build our own custom curtain rod to fit the shape of this nook. Let me show you how we put it together. Now let's first start with supplies. Here's what we used for this project. We bought a couple of lengths of 3 4 inch conduit, which is metal pipe that's generally used for electrical work. We also got some wooden dowels, six curtain rod brackets, two finials, and a couple of tools. We used a tubing and conduit cutter and a conduit bender. A couple of other things that came in handy were a metal file for cleaning up the edges of the pipe, a sander for sanding down the dowels, and a drill for installing the brackets and finials. I'll also leave a few links in the description for all the tools that we used in case you want to check them out. The first step was to make a template by tracing out the shape of the wall. We just used old Amazon boxes and put it up against the wall and used one of the brackets as a guide to make the template. We then used the template to mark where the pipe needed to be bent. And then we used the conduit bender to get the pipe to the proper shape. The conduit bender works on leverage and the important thing is to line up the bend marks that you made earlier with the arrow on the tool. Press your foot on the tool and gently bend it until it's the shape you need. It may take a bit of finessing. Oh, that's harder than I thought. Maybe I need some shoes. It took some practice, but we got there eventually. We made some cuts in the pipe to make it sectional and, and therefore easier to install. The pipe cutting tool is really easy to use. It has a metal cutting wheel and you fit it snug and then turn it. You'll need to keep tightening it and turning it until it cuts through. Sometimes there are some burrs at the end. This is where a file may come in handy to knock those down before you add the dowels. To put each section of the curtains together, we use these dowels. The dowels you use should match the inside diameter of the pipe. You don't want them too loose, you want them to be snug, but if they're too big, you can definitely sand them down. Adding the dowels allows you to put the different pipe sections together and keep it all strong. The brackets and finials we bought were not the right color, so we used spray paint to paint them gold. We also spray painted the rods gold after we bent them so they would match too. To attach the finials, we also used dowels, and we drilled a hole so that the finials could be screwed into the ends. For this, the dowels need to be snug. From there, we add the brackets and put the rest of it together. In terms of cost, this project was very economical. The conduit, brackets, and other parts were about $60. The conduit cutter and bender were less than $50 together. Aside from the cost of the curtains themselves, everything came in at just a little over $100, not bad cost-wise. There's no curtain rod that you could buy that would fit in this space. You really have to get something custom. I mean, you could hire somebody and pay a fortune, or you could try and do it yourself. And here is the finished product. I think it looks fantastic. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed this project. Be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more great videos, and we'll see you in the next one.